Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin, look at this. Oh, she's pretty. And? And? Uh, well, she's elegant, uh, uh, fashionable, and uh, cool. All right, I've run out of words. <laughs> What do you want me to say? Do I look like a guy that cares about fashion? <laughs> Now those are pretty good words you've chosen, but what if I tell you she used to be a boy instead of a girl? What? Oh man, I can't trust my eyes anymore. <laughs> yeah, it kind of blew my mind too when I read that. 我知道这个仙女一样的姑娘曾经是个男孩子的时候，也是完全的震惊哈。那 blow one's mind 就表示令人大吃一惊，使人十分震惊。So today's topic, without doubt, is this beautiful model, Hunter Schaefer. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So all you need to know about Hunter Schaefer is that she is one of TV's most promising young stars. The trans actress and model is currently wowing viewers with her debut role in HBO's Euphoria. However, she has been making waves both on and off screen for years. Well, she did wow me. Oh, we know "wow" this word is often used to mean amazement, or "wow." But this is her as a verb. She used to mean amazement as a verb. So she used to mean amazement as a verb. So she used to mean amazement as a verb. So she used to mean amazement as a verb. So she used to mean amazement as a verb. So she used to mean amazement as a verb. You can simply understand it as making somebody want to say, "Wow." So, how old is she? Judging by her look,、uh, she must be very young, right? Yeah, Hunter Schaefer was born in 1999. She is 21 years old. 妥妥的九五后哈，那差一点点就是零零后了。Oh, so she is much younger than you. <laughs> yeah, no need to remind me of that. 人家比我小，气场比我强到不知道哪里去了。You said she used to be a boy,、um, so she's trans. Yeah, Hunter Schaefer is a transgender woman. She said she does like people to know that she's not a cis girl because that's not something that she is or feels like she is. So she must be proud to be a trans person. She is. Trans or transgender 都是指这个跨性别者。It is used to describe someone who feels that they are not the same gender as the physical body they were born with, or who does not fit easily into being either a male or a female. Another word you used that's worth explaining is cis girl.、Mm, it is shorthand for cisgender girl. Right. 我们刚刚讲了这个跨性别者是 transgender， 那和它相对的有一个概念呢，叫做顺性别者，就用这个 cisgender 这个词来表示。那指的呢，就是那些性别认同和表达与出生时的生理性别相符的人。Right, so a cisgender woman defines a non-transgender woman. Her assigned sex is female. And she still identifies with the gender culturally associated with her sex, woman. 嗯，那这里又引入了一个概念啊，叫做 assigned sex. So what is assigned sex? Um, an individual's assigned sex is what appears on her or his birth certificate. A doctor or a midwife delivers、uh, children and states their sex at the time of birth. The individual is branded male or female based on this assessment on their birth certificate. 嗯，这个 assigned 表示指定的、分派的。那所谓的指派性别呢，就是指一个人在出生时候所被认为所属的性别。它也可以表述为 natal sex, designated sex at birth, or biological sex, 生物性别。So in the case of Hunter Schaefer. Her assigned sex is male, 
But she sees herself as a woman. 嗯，回到了我们今天的主人公身上哈。Schaefer's career trajectory hews close to a narrative popular among America's most charismatic and youthful percentile. The career trajectory 就是我们说的职业路线、事业轨迹。那 hew 做动词可以表示遵从或者坚持，也就是说 Schaefer 他的职业选择所遵循的轨迹。那恰恰就是美国最年轻、最有魅力的这一部分人所喜欢的这个路线。I know what you mean. A beautiful teen becomes a successful model, becomes a celebrated actor. Right, and after a model turns actor, their career threads tend to separate, and from there they cease to stay predictable. That means whether the Schaefer will win an Oscar, start a lifestyle brand, or both is unclear at this time. So, what do you think is the main difference between Schaefer and others who have walked the path before her? Well, perhaps the main difference is Schaefer's identity as trans woman, of which there are few models and fewer models turned actors. Oh, so it becomes a popular fixation point in the way that it doesn't for others. Yeah, I mean, look at her. What she represents is the current zeitgeist of beauty, in that there are no rules, no boundaries, and no restrictions. 她的这种美哈，其实映射着一种时代精神，没有规则、边界和限制。那么，时代精神、时代潮流，我们就叫做 zeitgeist. The zeitgeist of a particular place during a particular period in history is the attitudes and ideas that are generally common there at the time, especially the attitudes and ideas shown in literature, philosophy, and politics. 嗯，那么呢，作为 LGBTQ 群体的一员 ，Hunter Schaefer 也是平权运动的一名活跃分子哈。他曾经多次公开为这个群体发声。So Schaefer has spent much of her life being aware of the LGBTQ civil rights movement, which was playing out on the political stage during her adolescence. She first earned the activist the title when she appeared as the plaintiff in the ACLU's case to overturn North Carolina's HB2 bathroom bill. Oh yeah, I remember that bill. It required citizens to use the corresponding restroom of their assigned sex at birth. 没错，那根据这个卫生间法案呢，跨性别者无法使用与自己性别认知相符的厕所。那当年才刚刚满十八岁的 Hunter Schaefer 就曾经公开发表过自己的演讲，谴责该法案对 LGBTQ 群体带来的伤害。Well, the campaign was successful in part. The bathroom bill was repealed. Though replaced with something only、uh, moderately less discriminatory. Hmm,、um, discriminatory 就表示区别对待的、歧视的。也就是说呢，虽然这个法令被废止了，但是啊，代替它的也就好了那么一丢丢，并没有好到哪里去哈。Anyway, Schaefer pushed on with her life, moving to New York City and finding work as a model. 那今年二十三岁的她已经是一个炙手可热的模特了，备受瞩目的新人演员。但是呢，在尝试这一切之前呢，她还是一名颇具天赋的艺术家。Wow, that sure is a lot of achievement for a twenty-two-year-old. Yeah, at sixteen, she moved to study at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. She always wanted to be an artist. More specifically, she wanted to illustrate comics. She posted some of her drawings on her Instagram too. Here are some of her works. What do you think? Well, they're mostly in black and white.、Um, are these portraits of herself? Oh, there are also other characters.、Uh, they are grotesque, dressed in otherworldly fashions, animated in movement, almost、uh, writhing. 对哦，她的作品和她给人的感觉一样，就是这种浪漫、奇特、天马行空的感觉。Youthful yet internal, romantic but not docile. 那今天关于这个天才又美貌的少女，我们就聊到这里啦。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 
早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So thanks for listening. This is Colin. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. Bye.